The novel, Man of the World, harkens back to a time rooted in the past, yet futuristic, a kind of literary steampunk. Just as the journey to Mars is being pursued in our own lifetime, the visions of Jules Verne's and H.G. Wells are realized in their own author's lifetime. The year is 1908. La Belle Epoque, France. We follow the journey of a young, real-life adventurer, Hubert Latham, who attempts to be the first to fly a heavier-than-air flying machine across the English Channel. Imagine a palace of machines, old-world castles, adventure, hats, and the time-old themes of love, friendship, loss, and the striving of the human spirit. You gather up the historical facts and photographs, and from that, characters come out of the history. Is it at once a world made up or one that really happened? One more vivid to me than many of the days I spent working on it. So to me, yes, this really happened. And it happened like this. <laughs> <laughs> 